get to go home now? Sorry, pal. Just got this. Looks like we'll be here for a while yet. Now what? The Clement case is over. We should be going home now, shouldn't we? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> That's Clinton and his girlfriend, Mariana. Clinton's a puke. He's got a criminal record that's even longer than Sarge's inchworm. Apparently, he couldn't go back home anymore because of our police department's constant harassment. Don't tell me. Now he's here in the Philippines. Right. Here's the report. It looks like he's trying to build his own kingdom here. So guess what our job is? Oh, shit. Well said. Looks like we have to put up with this tropical weather for a while yet. The thought thrills me. Aside from a few lieutenants, Clinton hasn't recruited any members for his gang yet. It's most likely he'll be out looking. I think we have to check him out. Be my guest. Come on. Let's get this show on the road. The sooner we finish, the sooner we go home. All right. Man, that was some game. Yeah, I gotta go again. <laughs> Stay cool, you. Give me your money. Fast. Oh. I'm trying to keep on. Keep on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Here's mine. Put it in here. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Right back there? Yeah. yeah. God, those bastards. I appreciate your taking the time to talk to me. This kind of robbery that happened on your jeepney, does it happen often here? Yeah. Robberies like this are happening more and more these days. Hell, I think I'm almost used to it by now. What the hell can you do? It's the way things are. You can only take it or quit. Yeah, I understand. However, I have reason to believe a criminal from Hong Kong is here. His name is Luther Clinton. A real son of a bitch who'll do about anything to get what he wants. If this kind of robbery is nothing new, then he's probably not involved. I don't suppose you've heard of him. No. I never heard of the guy. Sounds like he's a tough one, though. That he is. If you ever hear anything about him, then let me know. Yeah, don't worry. You can count on my help. Thanks. Good night. Thanks. Hey, wait. Come here. You and me, lady. Cut it out, Luther. Oh. Hey, you. What's the matter, Mariana? Don't you like me anymore? Repeat, you make me sick sometimes. Bitch! Don't you ever talk to me that way again! Understand? I asked you a question. Are you deaf or something? Yes, what? Yes, Luther. That's better. You should be nice to your old man. Otherwise, who's gonna take care of you? All right, go. Come on in. Sit down. Boss, I've checked out the local scene. It's just small-time action, nothing big. Well, I'm going to change all that. 
What about the locals? Will they join us? Likely they'll follow whoever's got the power. But most of them are already under some boss. Hmm. Who is he? His name is Jerry Romano. Nothing special about him. A small-time punk. Boss, you want Chicken or me to take him out? No, Paul. He might be useful to us. At least he knows the local scene. I think he should be working for us. What do you think, Simon? I agree. He can be valuable to us. Uh-huh. I want you guys to go spread the word around. I'm sure he knows my name. Make sure he knows who I am. When the time is right, I will go see the guy. Mm -hmm. You're lucky you weren't badly hurt. I don't know what become of the old neighborhood. It's a shame the way things been going downhill. Huh? Why those don't give no lights? I'm going out there. You can't go out there, Mother. They'll stone you. Look. I'm not going to stick around here and watch, goddammit. Cool it, Mom. Look, they're gone now. <laughs> Jerry, let's go to my place. Hey, Anne, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm just here looking yeah. for Jerry. How are you? Okay. Hey, look over there. Jerry's with another girl. See you later. Hold it. Jerry's my boyfriend. Do you know that? I don't give a shit. It's up to him who he sees. Oh, is it now? <laughs> hey, now, come on, you two. Stop it. You shouldn't have to do that. Come on. Let's go. You keep your hands off. Really, Anne? You shouldn't have acted like that. It was embarrassing. Is that enough? And I suppose I was wrong and not you. I only made a scene because you were acting like a stupid fool. I'm sorry, Anne. I was a little drunk. You know how it is. Can you forgive me this time? Sure, Jerry. Seems like you're always drunk. That's no excuse. Stop it. Stop it, Jerry. It's simply not going to work this time, so why don't you go look for that whore? I can't believe you're doing this. Look, Jerry, it just isn't going to work. If you keep chasing around, I'm getting so sick of you going after every woman in town. I don't do that. Now, come on, Anne. I only have eyes for you, honey. Huh? Mm? Oh. Mm. oh, stop it. Mm. Jerry, stop it. Come on. Jerry, stop it. Come on. What's wrong? I'm sorry, Jerry. I just don't want to do it now. Please, let's not today. I don't understand what your problem is, Anne. Come on, I'll make you feel better. Stop it! That's all you ever want. Don't you care about anything else besides screwing around in bed all the time? You're hopeless. I thought I was supposed to be your only girl, you know, but then you're out fooling around every night. It's just no good. Luther Clinton, you said? Well, I don't know him. The action around here belongs to Jerry Romano. My boss. And if you're thinking about muscling in, you better think twice. You should go back and ask your boss who Luther Clinton is. He might just cut your tongue out for saying something like that. And I might cut off your balls for saying what you just said to me. I see you need to be taught a lesson. Fuck you. <laughs> So oh, you boys are having all the fun. Can we get in on it? Who the fuck are you? Let me introduce myself. I'm Jack Kelly. This is my partner, Danny Lee. I think your boss knows us. And by the way, we work for the police department. 
Nobody move, all right? somewhere off your route. How about it, buddy? Oh? Where? Is it far? Not too far. Near the dump. The dump? Don't know. We'll pay you for it. Mm -hmm. Do us a favor. All right. All right. Excellent, buddy. We appreciate the favor. Hey, come on, man. Let's get out of here. Hey, wait, your train. Uh, look, you can keep it. This shit is all completely useless. It's been a really bad week, boss. Yeah, we're all having a hard time. Seems like someone's muscling in. Who's muscling in? Mm. Who's got the guts? Oh. <laughs> we'll answer it. Boss, it's our men. Hey, Jerry, we did good. That's so. All of you guys have been doing really lousy lately. All of a sudden, we get competition. Who the hell is this guy? I want to know his name and where he's from. Must I tell you, you guys can deal with him. Not this guy, Jerry. What's so special about this guy, huh? Well, he's a heavyweight. His name is Luther Clinton, a real big-time crime boss from Hong Kong. Edward! What's wrong? The police are coming. I wonder what they want. That's him. Are you Edward Burton? Uh-huh. So? You're suspected of being an accomplice in 
a robbery. Huh? You're making a mistake. Edward only does one his work. We've got witnesses who are able to identify him. What's going on? I don't know. We know your Jeep was the getaway car. I still don't know what you're talking about. Well, sorry, ma'am. We're gonna have to take him down to the station, and from there we'll take a statement. You better come along with me now. Huh? But listen, I didn't do anything. I don't know why you're doing this. There must be some kind of a mistake here. What's going on here, Chief? Maybe I can help you. I've known these people for a long time. Well, Edward Burton here was seen driving a getaway car during a robbery. So I'm going to take him down to the station for some questioning. I'm afraid it's true. You know, Mr. Jennings, the robbery took place in my jeepney, and my passengers saw him make the escape. He's lying. I did no such thing. I've never been involved in anything like that. Mr. Jennings, please help us. This has to be some kind of mistake. Really, I'm innocent. Ah, uh, Chief, why don't you let me come in with Edward later? We can clear it all up then. All right. I'll trust you. Thank you, sir. Here's your share. Enjoy it while you're able to. Things will be tough and getting even worse. Well, I don't agree. I'm not sure. I don't think this guy Clinton wants to drive us out. I think he just wants part of the action. Listen, you guys shouldn't worry so much. It's Jerry's problem. Jerry's problem? But well, we work for him. That's right, we do. Well, I won't forget. Mm -hmm. Mr. Clinton, it's a pleasure to meet you. What brings you down here? I'm sure you've heard a lot about me lately. I've decided to settle here and establish a business. You know what it's like when you start a business. You need able bodies. You are sort of the head man around here, am I correct? <laughs> yeah, I am. Let me get this straight. You want me to work for you? You are a very smart man, Jerry. I was right about you. You'll find that working for me has many advantages. Of course, you can always refuse my offer, but then you know how cruel a business world can be. You bet I do. I'm not dumb. I didn't think that you were, my friend. I didn't think that you were. All right, Come on. Get out of there. Woo. Hey, come back here. Go. Freeze! Hold it right there! Come on, move. the big sweep last night, eh? Hmm. Let's see if you can identify any of them. All right. All right, you guys, get up. Come on, get up. Go ahead. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Okay. I'll ask him. I will, sir. Yeah, any more? Over here in the next cell. Come over here now. Come on. Any of these? These two? Huh? And him. So they're the ones. Bert, separate them. Yes, sir. Uh.
Hi, how are you? Hi. You guys absolutely sure it was Jack Kelly who got our men? That's correct, boss. I double-checked. What the fuck are they doing here in the Philippines? From what I found out, they were already working on the case here. We arrived at the wrong time, that's all. <clears throat> Those fuckers are a royal pain in the ass. I want them dead! Dead! Do you understand? I want them dead! Boss, that might be a problem. Those guys are cops, after all. Is exactly this type of thinking that will get us nowhere. So what if those fuckers are pigs? I don't care if they're the fucking Pope. I want them dead. Checker, don't tell me you're a chicken too. No way, boss. I'll get the job done properly. Very good, Checker. I knew I could count on you. You just leave everything to me. Those pigs will die. I guarantee that, boss. Right. Right. <laughs> what the hell do you want? We're gonna settle this tonight. If you guys won't cooperate with the cops, how do you expect to keep those assholes in jail, huh? Well, that's none of your business. We don't want any trouble. We all got families. Yeah. yeah. You're right. yeah. 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 You're causing trouble. Hey, hey, you guys got no guts, man. You're gonna have a Misunderstanding, Don't sir. Get it's line. nothing come serious. On. Stop that crap. Get in the line. Come on. Move together. Come on. Oh. Oh. Jump to it. That's it. Move it. Oh. Get in line. Hurry up. doing oh. Edward what is that damn dog barking about shut him up shut him up Edward you heard her now shut up sweet Jesus barking in the middle of the night how the heck can you get any sleep okay over there What's the barking about? Morning. Have some breakfast, Edward. No, thank you. Hey, boy. Edward. 
Do you always have to feed the dog at the table? It's a disgusting sight. And it's a lousy waste of perfectly good food. It's not a waste. I'm not throwing it away. Well, to me, it's just the same thing. Oh, come on. He needs to eat, too. He's like one of the family. But no good food like this. Look, let's not argue. I gotta go. Oh, well. Have a good day. <laughs> Mom, come here. Well? Must have been last night. Oh, no. Damn those bosses to do this awful thing. How can you continue to work now? Mom. Those damn bosses are animals. Animals, I tell you. Calm down, Mom. What do we have to do to deserve this? Damn it, I can't take this. Hey, where are you going? I don't know. Just get out of my way. Jerry's the main man here. If well, Clinton wants he really to take has influence, over, eh? he'll probably go to Jerry. You can be sure of that. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. He could be our main man. He's then. the big boss, you know. Get out! Get out! What the hell? Well, that's what I think, anyway. So tell me, what does this guy Jerry look like, anyway? Well, I don't know. Get out of there! Your lives are in danger! But why? Fuck this, go get him! Go get him! Come on! Jesus Christ. They fucking killed her, didn't they? Good boy. Mom? Mom? What? What is it? Look at this. I found it in the Jeep. You didn't give this meat to him, did you? No, I didn't. Know what I think? Someone's probably trying to poison my dog with it. But that's a terrible thing to do. Who in the world would do a thing like that, I ask you? First it was your tires, now your dog. I just don't know. Terrible. I don't know. I've been wondering what that dog looks like now. I'm telling you, we'll wear him down. Yeah. First his tires, then his dog, and then we'll just keep going. Why, Jerry will be so proud of us, real proud. <laughs> sure, but we gotta impress Clinton. He's the man now. Hey, Carl, maybe Clinton will let us take over for Jerry after we handle this one. It's great. Think about Jerry's reaction to that one. <laughs> 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 Won't you stop?
up for? Come on. Let's drink. You tried to poison my dog tonight, didn't you? Hey, you hear that? Do you believe that, huh? No way, bastard. Hey. Checker! Great! Just fucking great! You killed Mariana instead of the cops! Boss, it couldn't be helped. Boss, it's better this way. Mariana would have made trouble for us. That bitch. But I still want those cops out of the way. I'm gonna give you a second chance, Checker! I don't want to see you again till they're dead and buried. Yes, boss. Don't worry, boss. I'm sure Checker will finish those pigs off. I'm not worried, smart ass. I'm just pissed my own lady turned against me. Fuck those cops. They're gonna pay. Once I get rid of them, there'll be no one to stop me. So, Jerry has decided to help us. That's right. Except the bastard's having some trouble with some guy with a chip on his shoulder. You want me to lend him a hand? No. Let him deal with it. I got much more to worry about than some two-bit troublemaker. Go, sir. Let's go. Well, that's the game. Come on, Danny. I really need some work on my back. That's huh? right. <laughs> Come on.
Hey, you all right? Mm. How are you? What's going on here? Hey, hey, let me through. Oh, I can't believe this, Edward. I don't know what the world is coming to anyway. Did anyone see you do this to this poor dog? Yeah, me. I saw everything. Three men came with sticks and killed this dog. And who were they? Three big men. Looked like gangsters. Real tough. There's simply no justice in this world. Well, that was some job we did on that damn dog. He won't bite no more. And that's for sure. Uh, yeah, the only problem would be if someone saw us, you know? No worry, nobody did. I'm sure of that. Are you sure? I don't want to get busted for a dog. <laughs> I want to see Edward. When he finds his dead dog, he'll probably kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I won't kill myself. Because I'm going to kill you. Mrs. Barton! Mrs. Barton! Mrs. Barton! What's wrong? Edward's involved in a fight. What? Where? Down in the street there. Out of the way. Room, quick. What's going on? No problem. All right, take her in there and hurry up. And you, nurse, fill out the forms. Huh? Yes, doctor. Oh, was a woman just admitted here? Her son's over there. Uh, thank you. How is she, Edward? I don't know yet. Don't worry. Hmm. How is she? I'm sorry. Then she's dead? Yes, that's right. I'm sorry. Edward. I'm sorry.
Well, how is he, Linda? Hmm. Not very good. He won't eat anything. These detectives want to talk to him. Now you see, this really isn't a good time to talk to him. He's really not up to it. Could you come back later? Is it at all possible that we could do this later? All right. We'll come back later. Hmm. Now, Linda, is there anything you need that we could get you? Oh, I don't need anything. All right. Here, I have something to eat. Thanks, Linda. Edward, don't do this to yourself, all right? You really should eat something. It's not good for your body to starve yourself. You know that, don't you? I'm sure you'll agree. Where's Edward? Ah, he's upstairs. Is Auntie really? I'm afraid so, Anne. Mm. Edward must be feeling terrible. Yeah. Do you think that I should go and talk to him? I think that's a very good idea. He needs to be drawn out of himself. Go ahead. All right, thank you. Come on. Pay my respects. We took a collection. It's to help with a funeral. Everything will be fine. Here. You'll be needing some extra money. Don't worry about paying it back. I don't need the money. Huh? Here. Get up. You 
killed my mother, didn't you? No, I didn't. No, no, stop. It was that damn right there. It's me, Clinton. The trouble you've been having with this guy, Edward, is making you look bad, Jerry. Very bad. And since you do work for me when you look bad, I look bad. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Good. Now, don't waste any more of my time on this, Jerry. I want you to go off and finish that asshole off once and for all. Do you understand? I will, boss. Good. That's right. Right. Where are you going? Why are you taking a vacation without telling me first, huh? How dare you? See someone behind my back? No, Jerry. Liar! <gasps> you bitch, tell me the Jerry. truth. <laughs> so, who have you been seeing behind my back, huh? You've been going out a lot lately. You think I don't notice it, huh? Huh? You itching down there? I'm not good enough? Is that it? You better talk, girl. Well, talk! Is it that, Edward? Tell me the truth. I'm gonna kill him. Do you know that? Is it him? Tell me, is it him? No, you got it wrong, Jerry. I'm missing anybody. You liar. Come back here. real important.
Clinton. He's gotten more daring in his old age. What do you mean? Before, you wouldn't even think of doing away with the cops. <laughs> Just our lucky decided to try to do it now. Yeah, we better be careful from now on, huh? Yeah, that's right. But it looks like the Philippines might prove too much for him. You mean Edward? Right. Who would have thought a local jeep driver would give them so much trouble? And it's a good thing that Edward is cooperating with the local authorities. Right. Anne, what happened? Help me! Here, here, sit down. What the hell happened? Jerry hit me. I'm pregnant with his child. He doesn't know it. What do I do? Get to a hospital right away, okay? <gasps> Can you walk downstairs? I think that my child is already dead. <laughs> I couldn't locate Edward. Be damned if I know where the guy went off to. Look, don't worry about it. Hell. We'll just find him later on, huh? Yeah. Let's head back now. Mm. We'll get to the bottom of this real soon. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Hey, you all right? Yeah, just a bruise. Let's go. Sorry, pal. Boss, let me go and finish those suckers. I can do it. I can. All right, go. But you know what'll happen if you fail. I know, boss. I won't disappoint you. I hope not. Don't worry. Fucking hell. Hey, Jerry, look. Well, I was right about them. Don't they make a nice couple? They look just like two little lovebirds. Ann, I'll go get the tickets. You stay here, I'll be right back. Okay. All right, go on. What time does the bus to San Jose leave? 8.30. Thank you. Leaving in five minutes. All aboard. <laughs> Come on, asshole. All right, you bastards have got me. Just give me a break. I'm just a small fish. Come on. Look, I can tell you who the really big man is. Oh, yeah? Well, we don't need a useless shit like you. Come on, man. I can give you a big break. I just want a little consideration in the court. OK. Maybe I won't tell the judge everything. OK, then we can do business. Hmm. Come on. Where are you taking us? Over there.
love the smell of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's better than pussy. Oh, hey, what's yeah. the matter? Don't you guys agree with me or something? <laughs> no. Come on. <laughs> she loved me. You're making a scene. Calm down. Shut up! Another five? Yeah, well, you know, they never get enough. So tell me, what brought you here to see me, Jerry? Got a problem. Clinton's been on my back again. So? I need a favor. I need to have someone killed. Piece of cake. If you pay me, then he did. Mm. Yeah, I'll pay you. But don't fail. It's Edward. Edward? Can you help me bring all the stuff inside the house? They're just too heavy for me to handle all by myself. I'll pay you for it, and it shouldn't take too long at all, all right? Yeah, okay.
giving this to you because the son of a bitch Jerry can't handle it. Do you think you can do any better? You just tell me who he is, and he's a dead man, then. Mr. Clinton, you can bet on it. He's a jeepney driver, Edward something. I don't know his last name. Here's a file on him. He eats every Tuesday at the Star Restaurant. Bald-headed bastard. You can't miss him. Stands out like a priest in a whorehouse. Can you handle it? My pleasure. I'm not cheap. But I'm sure you're aware of that. Money's no problem. You just do your job and you'll get what's coming to you. I promise. Let's go. Clinton has sent Ray out. Edward is dead for sure. Now we can start making money again, right? Of course we will. That's right. Clinton will see to it, right? Yeah. All I hear about is Clinton. I'll be happy when he leaves. I don't need him. I was doing perfectly well on my own. Jerry, Ray's here. Finish the guy? Why did I tell you? Well, you know, it was a piece of cake. No problem at all. Oh, really? Ray's a tough guy. Well, I'm surprised you couldn't deal with him. He was lucky, that's all. His luck's run out now. Have a drink. So, Ray, Clinton asked me to give this to you. <laughs> well, I told him I didn't work for free. Drink up. Hey, Ray, hmm? how much did you get? Enough, my man. I got enough. Thank you. 
up against that one. today, you know. Enough. You're gonna Fuck kill you him. Too. Hold it, sucker. What? You're gonna shoot your boss? Come on, give it up.
Hey, shouldn't take the two of you. Come on, tough guys. One on one. Choose. This son of a bitch! Me? Come on, man. You wanna fight me? Get up, then. Come on, man, fight him. Come on. Uh. Nice try, huh? <laughs>